Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for June 10th through the 16th, 2019. So let's take a moment to breathe and to relax and to focus on the information that is coming through, that will be coming through the words you'll be hearing and all of the things that are around you in your life right now that's changing and manifesting and a part of change is indicating that aspects of your desires are taking shape and we must allow that to unfold in order for us to receive that desire or to accomplish that goal. And the angels are showing me right now um, my symbol for criticism when they show me teeth. Um, and it's sort of like grinding, the, also I'm seeing it's sort of some a grinding of the teeth. And this is, we are um, sort of resisting and, and criticizing um, the changes that are happening. Some changes we, we just don't get. We just don't connect with them right away. And we feel like um, either we're, that change is a threat to us or that a change is sort of happening um, and we don't have control, that we feel like something is slipping away from us. Um, and there are times that we just feel like we're maybe being pushed. And we have a sense that it's it's okay, but we're just afraid of the unknowns and the uncertainty and leaving the comfort of what is seemingly um, secure. But we must be able to go through these trials that challenge what we are, what we, our status quo. And we must, um, it's just showing me the words like outward, like it's like this, this feeling that change keeps us moving. It keeps us, um, it keeps calling us to a purpose for outward expression. You know, it's a sense that we feel like we want to just hold everything in um, rather than let it out. And there are, it feels like there are things that we're coming to terms with um, and we're having difficulty coming to terms, terms with them. And we, there are things that we just are afraid to let out. And this could be talents or uh, things that just need to be said or things that need to be done. Um, but it's time to let those things out and to have less criticism about it. It'll be easier if you criticize yourself less, if you um, don't worry so much about trying to make everybody else happy around you. You know, it's like we don't want to step on toes and we what we end up doing is that we become sort of um, fearful of our own power in this way. And so there's a lot of things that we want to do that um, opportunities we want to take and or that we want to pursue, but we're afraid to just let it all out. We're afraid of <laughs> being vulnerable when, when you put things out there and into the world for others. And this can, the right in the word cage, this can sort of make us feel like we're living in a cage. One that we allow ourselves to be 
sort of duped into because we the ego comes with comes up with all these reasons all these things that can go wrong all the risk that you're making and how those are going to affect your happiness it's not going to point out um you know the possibilities because the ego is what is truly afraid of change because its world is so tiny so 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 tiny that it's afraid of losing that it feels like its world is fragile the world that it has built and cultivated in its own mind and so it wants to hold on to that the ego also is coming from a place of survival a perspective of survival it feels like it is has so little that it needs to really hold on to what it has and it's trying to figure out how to survive while holding on to those things and maintaining those things your 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 soul lives in an energy of thriving and it's not afraid to leap it's not afraid to to lose it doesn't mourn loss because it's so engaged in embracing and celebrating change as opportunities and new experiences so you know i'm since this is coming up in my to me again i wasn't going to mention it because i don't understand it but as i was beginning this um Me- uh, the meditation for this reading I saw the words new the first thing I saw was new and then I saw land and era so this, it sort of reads new land era so something um, uh, is shifting for us we're sort of like a, a new era something is starting we're on the cusp of some kind of new era and i'm not quite sure what you know because a lot of my sometimes words are symbolic in their meaning rather than literal but um this could be about the foundations um that are underneath us in terms of our soul foundations um that we're stepping into a new soul foundation on a collective le- uh collective um level it it feels like um so w- there is something shifting and this means that i'm getting a feeling that we should expect uh, of almost feeling like a tower card moment um and where there's going to be interventions divine interventions um with insights that may help shift your perspective help you to um to become less attached to the to the past in some way so this could be um <laughs> i'm saying the word earthquake as if you know this could really shake up things a bit and that shaking up doesn't necessarily have to be threatening you may um feel a little anxiety you may feel panicked about it because especially for those of us who love to worry right um and i know none of us loves to worry but we can't help it and so um you know feeling an sort of an overwhelming um amount of extra worry um shakes us up a little bit and you start you know reaching for different things you start scrambling in your thoughts and in your actions and it feels very out of control and most of us i dare say hates this kind of thing but i saw the word light and i feel like um what's going to happen is that it may feel like you know you're scrambling for in all kinds of directions but it's going to get you to no longer st- remain or hold firm to that p- 
place that no longer serves you. And that's what's going to be most important. So don't try to control that uneasy, uneasy feeling or the, however it affects you. Don't try to control that. Just take a moment to say to yourself, okay, at least out of this will come that I won't be standing in this, in this exact same place or position I won't be so um, um, sort of um, sort of glued to this to this um, particular thing in my life that's no longer serving me. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. Um, it could be just this this thought pattern of dis-ease that you let go of. They're showing me um, a, f a face of a man, an older man, and a stream of tears flowing down his eyes. And so it could be literal, but it could be symbolic in that this means that um, masculine energy and possibly actions. Um, maybe you've been holding on to a goal for a very, very long time. And this goal has not been bringing you the, the happiness that you've, you deserve. And perhaps what it's done is, um, in, in the tears, I feel like in this instance, is about you releasing this, first of all, becoming aware of this, that you've been holding on to this, this role or this job or this relationship, this, this, this goal that you've been trying to manifest is something that you've been working at. You've been using a lot of masculine energy. You've been taking action. You've been trying to fix it. You've been trying to do all kinds of things to make this thing work. And no matter how hard you try, no matter what kind of glue you use, it just eventually doesn't remain. And you have to keep piecing it together in different ways. Um, and it's something that you just know you have to let go of and that you're going to finally have this release. Okay. I don't know why they just showed me the word England. Um, so maybe the, there's something in this country too that may be, um, that they've been working on and as a country and that they're going to release that they're going to come to this realization and release. They keep writing the, the word for the country, England. So we just offer up light and prayers and them seeing the word light for whatever that may be and whatever that represents. And so everybody, if you just take a moment to send light to this country and just have the intention of letting all of your gratitude, this is the word they're writing out, just send gratitude to whatever the situation is. We don't, need, we don't have to know the specifics about it so that we don't interfere. And even if you don't know what the gratitude you're offering, just offer the energy of gratitude. Just tap in, they wrote the word Google, as if just searching within your own self in this moment. Do a, do a Google search in your, in your soul for a moment where you are really, truly grateful, that was overwhelmingly grateful, and send that just with the intention that once you connect into it, that as you're searching for it, that that's immediately when you find it, the universe, your soul is going to send out that ray of light. And try not to judge yourself Meaning, try not to get, it's like the, what the universe needs in terms of healing. It needs the template of your human experience of gratitude. It can do the rest, but it needs a template. A lot of times when we're called to do healing for the universe, you don't have to take it all on yourself. They're not saying that if you don't do this, um, that this something is not going to work out. You have a team of guides around you, and they 
have a, a great healing capacity, but you are there because you are a bridge between the physical world in its current condition. Some of your guides have been in a physical body before, but the, the, the um, energetic climate of this era is different and you are in that human experience and you when you draw up this energy of gratitude it is what the your collective team needs to share in sending that healing so you don't have to take it all on yourself you're sharing you are part of the team and your intention is what they need and they can use that gratitude to do what they know and to to send it specifically to the aspects of this situation that is needed. So remember, you are an extension, they're writing this out, of, of God, of that light, that universal light. All right, so let's go ahead and take a, a look at the card um, for the theme of the week, the Archangel Oracle card. Let's see. Message is coming through. Hmm. Archangel Metatron. Chakra clearing. All right. So, what's I feel like what's happening is that um, there is a clearing that is unfolding. Clearing energy. And this makes perfect sense. And what you may want to be doing in this week for yourself is tapping into that energy of gratitude. And if there's anything that you need to clear in your life, energy that you need to clear, um, just remember that your energy is always pristine. So what you're clearing are thoughts. It's like a, a glitch, like in a, in a program. And you just have to rewrite the code and if you know how to do that kind of thing. But spiritually, all you need to work with are the thought forms, the beliefs that's creating a story that you perceive. There's nothing wrong with your energy, your divine, your soul, if you want to think of it this way, your soul, you're an extension of source. And therefore, you're the origin of your soul, the template of your soul, is still on the main server of the universe. And there, the firewall around that main server is unhackable. And your soul is extended from that, so it's unhackable. But in this three-dimensional framework, we have dual minds, so to speak, ego and your your source like mind and this ego is such a tiny 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 fragment it's like a speck within the within the, i always like to say it's a, like a speck in one in, uh, inside of one of your pores and its world is so tiny that the rest of the world all of the the opportunities that, that the universe is allowing you to express and to create is like the big, it's like a big giant, and it's afraid of that giant, even if the giant is benevolent, and it is, the universe is benevolent, but that little ego mind can't always perceive that, because it's like if you could imagine an ant, and when you walk on the, the ground, it, it hears this, it's like, it's sort of like the, 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 the surface shifts, and that would be sort of similar to like an earthquake, which is frightening to us. So, but it's, it's about perspective, proportion and perspective. And it's the proportion that of your ego is what often creates um, the wrong perspective, for lack of a better word. That word wrong is not exactly what I want to say, but... It, it, I think it does, it's a, it suffices for right now. And so we, we have to be aware that when we start thinking about some things, you know, this, I'm, got, I'm in a bad space or I got this bad energy around me, this is not 
you, you can be in a, your mind is in a focused on something that doesn't serve you, or your mind has a, is using um, a belief, which is sort of like a glitch, a code, uh, like, a, like a, a glitch that is in your story. And if it's in your story, it's like a virus where the program doesn't work well. The, it, it, it creates challenges within the program of your mind and the world that you perceive through that mind. So don't try to like go, oh, I got to get this energy in my body. I got it stuck in there and it's stuck somewhere in my aura and it's causing this and that and that. And, you know, and it's and, and you try to it's like you feel because then your mind says, oh, it's like something there physical or even if it's energetic and you know that, but it's in there and it's, and it's made your soul impure. And therefore you is all this is the way I feel like people uh, talk about this, like you've gone rotten, you know, rotten from the core. And that's just not possible because your soul is unhackable. It's surrounded by a firewall and nothing impure gets past it because if it did the main server source god would then be corrupted this is why your actions when people talk about sin and then of course of miracles under, tries to explain that you can't do that truly because you don't have the power to rewrite the main code on the main server the programs on the main server on are unhackable and they remain pure. You create mistakes and you can be, you're forgiven for them because you are the one who holds on to the guilt. The guilt is not, God doesn't have any um, sort of anger or uh, with, because he understands that what we're dealing with in this human, this three-dimensional reality, and that we have this duality, and that we have an ego, and it, and there's a purpose for all of this, because it, there's contrast and and there are choices, and we're able to perceive them, and through this duality. So, as you as you work this week in terms of thinking of energy clearing, be aware of the thoughts or beliefs, those glitches in, this, in, in your program, in your life, and you can, you'll, you'll be aware that they are there because you no longer feel or perceive harmony and alignment with yourself and with whatever it is that you're trying to do. So instead of trying to wrestle and, and use a lot of masculine energy, um, and step back and step into your feminine energy, be receptive, observe, and be aware of what is the glitch, the thought form or the belief pa pa the belief or pattern that is and you and you'll identify them because a pattern of behavior will sort of ensue in terms of what's once whatever that is that's holding you back okay all right so let's take a, a look at the cards for the um week and let me just move this down if you can see well it's not all there but the metatron's cube you can call upon archangel metatron for his um cube the his sacred geometry cube and you can ask him to pass that through all of your chakras, your 12 fifth dimensional chakras, to lift the thought forms out of your energy, to, to make them, to lift them, to light them up, and to bring them to your awareness, and so that you can just let that go, okay? And if there's something that's you, most of it he will just do because you are ready for it. But if there's something that you, you don't, then it'll be brought up for you. And so you can be, um, so you can clearly see it and tweak that thought form. So that you, it's like rewriting the script um, in a sense. Okay. All right. 
Let's take a look at the cards for the beginning of the week. Okay. So talking about the ego, this is a devil card. And what I love about this deck is the staircase, you know, it's right, it's right to the head. <laughs> and, um, and it's about looking at, I mean, the devil card is about attachments and um, it could be about addictions, but all of this, all of this stuff, addictions, attachments, um, it's all about this glitch, right? That we, we have this glitch, this thought pattern in our story, and we perceive this, and we start to believe that this condition is real. And then we start to take action, fearful action, to compensate for that glitch. So if you could identify the glitch, then you would not believe that story, which is causing you to, to, to act in such a way to compensate. And when, like, when you believe that something's wrong with you, or you feel guilty, um, this, these are the things that come up, you know, um, you, shame and guilt come up with this, this, this sort of thought process. These are the, the, the ways to recognize that you're involved in a glitch, another way to look at it. And so what you want to be aware of in this week very strongly is um, giving yourself in, given into those beliefs. And one of the things I like about this is that I like to think that you're moving from your heart space and and being solely in your stuck in your in your head, you know, in your mind. So somehow you have to allow yourself to not want to take this this hard climb up. That's why it feels so challenging, the mind, because it's like we're climbing out of our heart. We're, we're leaving that place that feels like home within us, that allows us to feel connected and loved and, and loving towards others and loving towards ourselves. And one of the ways to really stay in your heart chakra is to focus on activities and tasks that give you pleasure to do things that you're passionate about, to, if it could be a hobby or something creative, to, to help you really reconnect with your, your heart chakra and to stay in the soul mind. I like to think of the heart chakra as the soul mind. So really, um, uh, to, in order to counteract this glitch, Try to find ways to stay in your, in your heart, your soul mind, and focus on activities and being around people who make you feel good about yourself as if they feel like your spiritual family and they make you feel at home, okay? So be, pay very close attention to, um, you know, people who are... You know, if, if there's someone who judges you, then this will trigger you to, to get stuck in your own head. So you have to be uh, proactive and know what's right, what's good for you. Even when at times it doesn't seem to make sense or you feel like you can't avoid it. But you have to do what's right for you first and then you can be in a, a, a better place to handle these situations. We're not saying we have to avoid situ uh, circumstances, but we do have to take care of ourselves first. Then we, we can better deal with what is coming up. Okay, so here we have the, the, for the middle of the week, the Princess of Pentacles. And so the, this could be about a new opportunity coming to you, um, a, new, a new role, a new job. Um, it could be about something, an opportunity for you to grow um, or expand your business, or it could be to expand your, your position. Um, it's, it's definitely about expansion, and it's about 
um, opportunities. So you want to be just noticing how she, the, the devil card is looking here. And so as these opportunities or this it pops up for you, don't let yourself get disconnected from your heart. There may be things about this situation that, that challenges you because there's going to be some changes, some significant changes that are going to come up. And this, I'm seeing the word earthquake again. This is an, an opportunity that may shake up your world. But they want you to spend time, I just saw the word imagination. They want you to spend time imagining yourself before in this, in, um, you know, in this opportunity. What is it going to see it, feel it? Don't just let your mind go into the place of fear. Don't let your mind just get stuck on all the things that you possibly may lose or the things that could go wrong, you know, down the line. You know, down the line is down the line. And you'll be, you'll, if something, if there's something you need to know, you're going to see it now. And even if something down the line still is off, there is a reason for it because you're strong no matter what. Think about all the things that in your life, and, and I'm sure like we've all had things where there were really horrible moments in our lives and it um, could have just paralyzed you in the moment. But the fact of the matter is, is that there are two stories there. There's the one that you remember, the horror. And then there's the one that you, we never pay attention to. And that is that even though that thing happened, you still s stood there. You survived it. You, it passed, and you didn't crumble to dust. Do you know what I mean? Like you just, you didn't crumble to dust. And that is something to encourage us because that it shows us our our um, resilience and our strength in times of great contrast, to put it gently. And we must, we must uphold that story too, because that story is just as much a part of our truth. And that part of you, there was no glitch. The glitch was happening around you, and that's other people's stuff. But your true story, your inner story, is always that you remain strong no matter what happens to you. And then it's afterwards that this other story really starts to take hold where we start to replay the fear and the, the threat to our, our, our livelihood or our lives in some way. You, you, so, and that becomes that, that story that then we become afraid of taking risk or we become afraid or we feel intimidated. But that is not the whole story. It's something that happened to you and it was a natural response. But the inner response was shoring you up within the entire time. And this always happens no matter how intense the contrast is around you at times. All right, so let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. And so this is the Nine of Swords. And so this is sort of given us a sense that we can this is a this is this is about usually can indicate dreams but in this moment for me this is about that those stories that we conjure you know and that we allow um to play on our to play in our minds to play on our um our strengths you know to weaken our confidence and our trust in the world and it's, it's like it breaks us down, you know? And this is something that we can't allow to happen. And it's interesting that in the, between these two cards is this card one of an opportunity, something new, because that's what pages usher in, um, a fresh start, something new, um, a new beginning. They indicate sort of a beginning. 
And in the pentacles, this deals with your 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 work, your home, your your job, deals with finances. And so this makes perfect sense. This is what we deal with. When our light shines brighter, when an opportunity comes through, our ego, and, and since the, the, the devil card is the major arcana card here, meaning that this is a repeated, less, a huge lesson that you deal with a lot in your life. And one of the ways that it'll manifest, because the, the minor kind of are sort of temporary um, moments, one of the ways it manifests is that you, you conjure um, stories that aren't real, that you feel haunted by. You allow yourself to be haunted by something in the past, or you're, you're, you're just triggered by it. And you just want to crawl. It's like that feeling like you just want to crawl up in, in, like in a fetal position and just hide out and not look. You're afraid to look at the, the, the shadows and discover that it's just a shadow. It's nothing more. So don't get yourself um, worked up, worried, just because you may not understand or feel that you are ready for this new opportunity. You know, maybe there's something in your past where you didn't do as well or something went wrong and now you're imagining that it, it, this could be a horrible experience if you took this risk and and you don't have everything lined up and you know ready to go and so don't let this this play on you in this way okay so i really feel like that this message is that this is something that's going to really change your life this this because these cards are sort of flanking this opportunity this means that this is something this is the beginning stage of something that is going to really change your life for the better and you know i know this seems like these things are talking about something really scary but the thing is it's not it's a little tiny thing that is usually blown out of proportion that makes you really afraid to and makes you feel paralyzed and that you don't want to take so I'll be honest um, there's a new song I'm having to learn and it's a really simple song um, but it's in a foreign language which I'm, that's not anything um, new for me but you know, I've just started really feeling this new freedom in my voice, and things have been happening like very intuitively. And with how this is all, you know, sort of happening, one of the difficulties that I'm dealing with is knowing my own voice now. I'm starting to really um, begin to know who I am and my own strength and you know and I want to make my own decisions about what how I put the piece together you know and so on and and then you have people that you that work with you and help you to, to achieve this and um, you know I found that people can be very um, sort of well critical um, not so much of what I'm doing with the music but of me as a person you know I tend to be very nice and I try not to and there are other people who don't think about the things they say to pe other people and they kind of like keep you know um, uh, sort of hitting a, a, a wound because I've had that happen throughout my life where um, people just feel like they can um, speak to me in any, in a, any kind of way that they feel uh, that's to just vent for themselves and in this particular situation um, this person I really don't want to sing for uh, anymore but or the music because it affects the the opportunities that are coming up for me and so um, I've allowed myself to worry about this piece um, because 
of what I've been dealing with around it. And so, but the thing is, is that it's going really well. And I'm letting these old sort of wounds, these glitches sort of come up and and kind of create this cloud of, conf- you know, of, of not a cl- cloud of confidence, but a, a cloud of powerlessness. Um, pretty a little bit too harsh, but you do feel that way. Um, to sort of sabotage, but only I can allow that to happen. You know, I'm given that power. So, you know, it, I just wanted to put it in a context. I want you to think there's something terrible is going on for you but it's like there's something wonderful happening and what you need to do is you need to take care of yourself you need to to put yourself in um surround yourself with the right people even if that means having to give up um you know a relationship that's not working a dynamic uh, of support that's not working for you any longer um but you need to do whatever it is to protect what you have that is coming to you and what you already have. And that which you have is drawing something towards you. And you don't want to let yourself get so that you feel like this um, because you're letting your, your, your mind, your ego, just start telling you stories that aren't true. And you believe them and you start to dream them so to speak, and you bring them into manifestation. So that's, that's what this is really all about. Okay, so I pulled the card from the bottom of the deck already, and it's the world card. And I know this is a very um, sort of minimalist kind of card um, depiction, but um, this the world card just gives you a sense of of completion so the it's sort of like a good news it's like you're at the 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 very last part of the cycle of the major arcana uh, archetypes and where this is where you are ready to move on to a whole new chapter into your life in your life so here again is that phrase from the beginning so related to that phrase new land era so there is some kind of new chapter that you're ready to begin and i think that this opportunity is going to bring a whole new chapter into your life of fulfillment because this is what this card this card is about the culmination of the journey of the fool and the fulfillment of that and so it's interesting that this card would come up because that's what your ego is going to do. It's just really going to like strike up its its biggest chorus <laughs> to get you not to cross that threshold. So we, I don't want you to be afraid of this opportunity. And I think that this tells me that I should definitely tell um, the person that is waiting to hear if I'm going to perform this song that I'm going to do it. And I think that for me is my sign to do it even though I am not quite sure if this is something I want to put myself through. I know it's going to go well, but it's like, dude, I could opt out and not put myself through that. <laughs> and, you know, um, the, the, the craziness of, of a performer and having to be nervous and worried about. And, but if I put myself through it, I think something really um, wonderful is going to happen. And so... I feel like that's the same thing here that I'm just telling you this so to illustrate how why this is so important for whatever comes up for you this week that excites you and yet it scares you to death. Go ahead and trust and do it anyway because this is about you leaving behind really the old. This is like sort of a big the big out with the old in with the new. This is about a new chapter. This is what this card from the bottom is really driving this point home. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and I thank you for sharing this moment with me and and being present um, for all of us because we all are dealing with things, as you can see. And so um, we are in this together, and you, the universe will never fail you in offering you the support that you need and we have to learn how to accept and trust that support 
and not give up just because we don't see the results we're looking for. Because every form of support may not be the support that you want, but it's definitely the support that you need. And it's helping you to grow. It's helping you to overcome an important chapter in your life. So just stay steady, keep your faith, and you know, st- st- stay to the course and, and, the, and allow the results to unfold for you. All right, so if you're um, looking to kind of contact me for an angel reading, um, and you feel, I just saw the word sort of resignation. If you feel like there's something in your life where you're just ready to resign that and let it go, um, this may be the, an opportunity to talk about that and connect with your angels and just get some, some feedback about what's going on for you and maybe what's coming up for you around this so that you can sort of deal with this with greater ease. Um, so you can find my um, web page um, in the link below for the angelschool.com and um, if you haven't joined us for the daily card messages you can uh, there's a link below as well for my Facebook page and where we'll go into more depth for this week's reading other things may come up as well um, and if you haven't um, joined that page please do I think I think if you like the page or something, you join it, you get, you know, you'll get the notifications as well as for this channel. Um, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please do and like and thank you all for sharing as well. So God bless you and have a beautiful week.